Welcome to Serenity Productions. Come in. We'll have to finish this conversation another time. Yes, of course. You have a good night. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Good evening. So glad you could join me. Well, considering that you were so adamant about seeing me, I came to the conclusion that, should I call on you at any time, you would be more than happy to accommodate. I take it you want to see the doctor? Glad you finally took the advice that was given to you. See? Isn't life simpler when you don't act like an asshole? Like I said, you will get the respect of someone working for the high table when you start acting like it. Respect isn't demanded. It is earned. If respect is demanded, it shouldn't be given in the first place. The sooner you learn, that just because you're an agent of the high table does not mean the rest of us will have to simply bow down to your will. The easier your job will become. Though, I feel like we've already had this discussion. Perhaps my advice has fallen on deaf ears. What a pity that would be. Why don't you take a seat? And we can discuss what you found before you decide to fuck everything up. <laughs> Let me try that again. Sit your goddamn ass down, or I'll ship you back to the high table with your tail between your legs faster than you can blink. That's better. So before everything went sideways, what did you find? Hmm. I see. <laughs> no, that was to be expected. They seem to have very good connections with those inside our world. A back door, if you will. Especially if they seem to be able to ambush you the way they did. There are many doors into our world. I can only assure you that it was not the hotel's door they used to get that information. I would have known and put a stop to it immediately. Can I offer you a drink? When can one have a drink if not when they are discussing business? You still seem very tense. You are aware this is a safe haven. Need I remind you that no business is to be conducted on continental grounds? Then there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to relax. Unless you're still working on the theory that someone in this hotel is working against the table. Do you know what consequences that would bring down on this establishment? On the people that work here? They put their trust in me to run a sound environment. If you are aware then you must know that I would never let something as severe as deconsecration ever happen to this place. Not after all the work I put into it. I do not waste things. Not my time. Not my efforts. So maybe you should start looking down different avenues for your villains. 
There are many families who are upset with the table. Many feel that they forget who keeps the wheels turning and the money coming in. There are slights everywhere. Simply pick at a thread and you will find it unravel into a pile of discontent and sacrilege. Forgive me, my uncle has a way of speaking poetically that seems to have been contagious. I do hope that you never have a conversation with him then, if you find me doing it annoying. Was there anything else that you found? Ah, now this is something. A needle in your ever-expanding haystack. I know this man. He runs the underground here in Boston. Much like my uncle has to deal with the King of the Rats. I have my own monarchy that I've had to contend with on occasion. Though they've been silent as of late. He and the Barrow King in New York were rumored to have a falling out. Of course, I'm not one to take rumors to heart. Unfortunately, with my workload, I was not able to check up on it. I was hoping it would be something that would be resolved... quietly. It wouldn't be the first time those two have had their differences. <laughs> my own king under the streets has always had a certain... dislike for the table. I always had to remind him that the table is what kept our little world in a neatly packaged state. Red bow and all. I didn't think he would go rogue. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> Do not knock what you don't know. Having that network through the city is inviolable to our work. Eyes and ears everywhere that are in plain sight, but that people never look too closely to. If we have lost that, it would be very costly indeed. It would cause us much greater issues. Let me see if I can't reach out and set up a meeting. Surely this is all a misunderstanding of sorts. I would rather stay optimistic about this. Perhaps he will have more concrete information as to who the real crooks are. Yes. Because if the information you found was not planted, then I have a civil war on my hands. And if it gets out of control, well, I don't need to tell you what will happen. I'll look over these more and see if I can't find out any information or where these came from to begin with. The library is supposed to be one of our most secure buildings. If there's a leak, they should know so they can fix it. I am here to help how I can. Finding out about rumors is a simple task for me. And with this new information, it should be even easier to track down certain things. Is there anything else? Well, perhaps I can suggest something to do with your night while you're here. All work and no play. <laughs> I'm sure you know how the saying goes. I can't imagine that you want to spend your night in your hotel room again. There's a club downtown. The entertainment is truly to die for. If you're feeling like you have more energy to expend, perhaps you should go expend it there.
Or you can always finally take a rest and let your wounds heal. I'm not saying you can't handle getting hurt. I am merely saying you should be at the top of your performance as an agent of the high table. <laughs> Very well. I will have Diana get a car for you and you can enjoy the rest of your night. Who knows? You may come back a much more likable person. <laughs> It was simply a jest. Enjoy your night now, and please try not to attract any more attention to yourself. I would hate to clean up another one of your messes so soon. <laughs> <laughs>